want to have uncomfortable conversations. I want the room to be divided. I want people to be screaming and mad at each other. Then I want them to understand each other. I want to see things from a different point of view. This is Unpopular Opinion. Greetings to the upstanding citizens. It's always such a pleasure to be with you. As you know, on this couch, we speak about the things that we need to speak about, not the things we want to speak about necessarily. Because if we spoke about things we want to speak about, we'd be gossiping, right? Today's episode, um, very special. I hope you guys get a pen and paper. Please do that now. We're doing African spirituality. All the stuff that they have misinformed you on. We're gonna go from point A to point Z. Obviously, we won't finish everything, but mm -hmm. we've got one of our greatest spiritual teachers in the country, our very privileged guys. This is one of Credo Butua's students. So humble yourself, open your ears. We're doing this. Mkulun Zingisa, thank you so, so much. Togoza, Togoza. Togoza, Togoza. Togoza. Togoza to all the people that you have brought into our space. Togoza. Togoza, Togoza. The, the, the audience we have, mm. a lot of them doesn't have any of the basis. Mm. So I'm going to ask you to start from the beginning for us. Yes. From the kingdom of Kemet and what it means to us and how we're connected to it. Okay. Ikamam uh, uh, Kulun um, founder of a great empire of Kemet. The great empire of Kemet, it was an empire that uh, once unified the continent, meaning that it was uh, formed by different royal houses, kingdoms on the continent. They formed what is known as the great empire of Kemet. Um, uh, in the southern part here, uh, they call themselves Bonabakulu Basekemu. Okay. You know, it was a brotherhood of, uh, you know, uh, African kings and queens, you know, that uh, um, uh, united. Uh, and, and also that is responsible uh, for civilization of the whole world. Yes. I, I, I'm going to give you a lot of space okay. to talk today. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> lots of space, so you're going to give us the story. Because yes. When we try to imagine Kemet, we don't know what to imagine. No, sure. Or where to imagine it. <clears throat> no, sure. Remember, Guti, just quoting, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, Ubabu Credo of yeah. Samazul. Ubabu Credo, who, yeah, who actually taught us, um, um, uh, he answered a question when they asked him about Kemet. Why should the people in the South be involved? Why should they associate themselves with Kemet? Kemet means black. And Ubab Credo says, um, uh, Egypt didn't start where fools think it did. You know, because a lot of uh, uh, people, they think that Egypt started uh, in the north. Yes. E Egypt started here, not Egypt. Remember, Egypt, it's a Greek, it's a colonizer's name, you know, uh, uh, for, for the northern part, uh, you know, of Kemet. So Ubab Credo said it started here. These symbols are my angst. You found them all over, you know, he said you found them all over Natal. You know, um, uh, they are painted on rocks. Uh, uh, some of uh, the things that he used to wear, he found them on one of the caves in Natal. And uh, another thing, uh, there's Inzaloyelang. Um. Inzaloyelanga is the oldest stone calendar in the world. It's here in Pumalang. And there are also pyramids in Pumalanga next to Inzaloyelang, mm -hmm. you know, that calendar. And uh, that, those pyramids are older than the pyramids of Giza. Inzaloyelanga, that uh, stone, uh, you know, formation is older than the same thing, a uh, Kemet. I actually wanted to get to Inzaloyelanga later on, but since yeah. we have gotten there, Please unpack it for us. Yes. Because we know the word and then we move on. Yes, yes, yes. So what is it? What does it mean? What? In Zaloelang. In Zaloelang, it's those, uh, you know, a huge stone calendar, you know, a formation that is the Empumalang. Um, uh, there's a place uh, called 
kapse wop. Yes. You know, la pangasengo duana. Mm. Meaning guti is the oldest stone calendar in the world. It's older than Stonehenge. You know, we should... When, what do you guys mean when you say stone calendar? How do you know it's a calendar? It's a calendar because it marks uh, the equinoxes as well as uh, the solstices. Mm. You know, how does it happen? On the, on the spring equinox, the, the sun creates a shade in one of, uh, you know, those stones, right? So that then becomes a marker for the spring equinox. Mm. Uh, then, uh, you know, uh, for the summer solstice, mm. one of, uh, you know, those uh, stones are also a marker. You know, when it is summer solstice, the sun will hit on the yes. eastern marker, you know, uh, in that uh, direction. Oh, wow. Yes. Oh, so like how the, those clocks, those, 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 uh, the ones with that use the, the shade, Yes, yes, yes. So it's, it's a yes. structure like that. Yes, it's a structure like that. Oh, okay, but, fine. But now the, the, the other important uh, factor yes. is that uh, in Zaloyelang, it's along what is called the golden meridian. The golden meridian is the electromagnetic field of Earth. So it passes there, you know, from Elenduza uh, Eplav in Devon. We were there, you know, two weeks ago mm -hmm. uh, doing a ceremony there, right at the root chakra of Earth, you know, where this uh, electromagnetic field begins. Then it passes uh, in Zaloelanga, then it goes and hits. Uh, so the you're saying the Earth, like human beings, has got chakras? Yes, yes. Yes, certainly. So that uh, in Bluff, it's a chakra of Earth, not of Africa. Miningguti is the southern point of, uh, you know, uh, uh, our Earth. So the energy moves from south to north. So that electromagnetic energy moves from south, at the Great Pyramid of Giza. But you mustn't talk to us like we understand you. Because <laughs> <laughs> like we're professionals. Yes. Now we need to understand what you mean when you say energy and the meridians, yes, yes. and the solstices, yes. and these big words you're using. Yes, yes. You need to unpack that for us. Okay, the electromagnetic field, yes. uh, it's a combination of the energy from the sun and the energy from the moon. They combine here on Earth. So everything that lives on Earth has this electromagnetic uh, you know, field. So. Um, um, uh, when we talk about this thing, Nyaz and Kulmama Kamangaga, but these are just simple things. Umoya we langa, no moya we nyang. That makes everything live and, you know, animate here on earth. So song is now. Ne jalo, ne luane, everything. Ipiliswa, you know, yile electromagnetic field. So the different phases of the moon, does that mean the electric magnetic field in our bodies changes yes. according to where the moon phases? No, no, certainly. Uh, remember, Guti, the moon reflects the energy of the sun, you know, and that affects the electromagnetic field because during new moon, um, uh, then the first crescent happened, you know, until a full moon yes. when uh, the energy of, uh, you know, um, uh, the sun is fully reflected upon um, uh, the moon. Meaning, Goti, Inyang plays a very important role when it comes, uh, you know, uh, to, to, to the energy of the sun. Because if there was no moon, we will burn. There won't be anything that left. You know, the energy of the sun will burn everything. So the moon, yes, the moon is the controller you know, the sun gives out energy, the moon controls the energy, how much we get here on Earth. And the moon controls everything. Um, um, uh, in the African sense and context, you don't go to the father through the sun, you go through the mother. Do you understand? Um, uh, meaning the moon controls everything. So, we go through Untu, or we go through nom kubuluan as kulumele nom velingan. So that is the order of uh, you know our universe. So abelu ngubaze nguguti. You go to the father through the sun. 
There could never be a, a, a son without the mother. So that uh, speaks also to a trinity aid, um, uh, African so trinity. The they actually talk about the sun, sun, not the male sun. No, 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 no. The sun, the sun, the sun. You know, because uh, what uh, Westerners uh, did, they then pe personified, you know, a cosmic, you know, body. Uh, by replacing a human figure, so that uh, we are able to bow down to this human figure. And uh, we're not supposed to do that. Nobody can equate the sun. That is why we need to connect our people back to nature, back to the sun and the moon. Because the consciousness here, it is no longer there. We are sistontiwe gashle gashle. This is a lot of information to process. Mm. So, in utata mo nom kubulo ane nom veli ngani, no kamat. Are these different entities then? Um, kamat um veli ngani or ramasid. Um, mozimu is the same concept. U u untu, unwedi, um, no nom kubulo ane is the same thing. It's just different packaging in terms of geographical position. Uguti wazulu natali simbizu nom kubuluan le el sutu bambiza unwedi le elenduza in the Eastern Cape untu. Meaning, Uguti, it's we are we are talking about the male and female energies of Earth. Yes. Is that what the moon and the sun yes. represent? Yes. Those are the two cosmic bodies that are responsible for life. And Okoko Beitu were not ambiguous about the creator. The creator is the sun. <clears throat> I'll tell you why. The chemical structure of our universe, it's carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Meaning, carbon, uh, this is the fuel which is burned by the sun. Because the sun burns carbon to create the hydrogen, right? Then there's a in oxygen, which is, a, you know, a carried from the moon. So without this chemical structure, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, there's no life on Earth. So um, uh, we should move away from, remember, Guti, um, uh, uh, African spirituality, it's nature-centered, meaning Guti, the foundation or the basis of African spirituality is the African calendar. Once you understand the African calendar, you also understand the African creation story. You are then able to then connect back to in nature, in vel. Please, can you break down the African calendar for us? I'm so glad you that up. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay. We've been waiting for you. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. The African calendar is very important for us. This is the calendar that we used before we were colonized, you know, um, uh, by these Westerners. All along, we've been using a calendar that is based on the Northern Hemisphere. Meaning, Meaning, festivities, Christmas, Easter. You are then assisting Amadloza Belu. You are giving them strength and power to continue, you know, and, and, and dominate us. And when it comes to the, remember, Guti, there's the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. Okay. We are on the Southern Hemisphere. Yes. We're not supposed to be using a calendar that is based on the Northern yes, Hemisphere. The climate be, and yes. the, the seasons are different. They are different. When it's summer here, it is winter yeah. that side. So, T, now when we took all over, all over the continent, there's no country that is uh, aligned with the energy flow of the continent because all these presidents have been uh, adopted, you know, a Western, uh, you know, calendar and imposed it upon the majority of African people. That is why Sloko Sitanda has a city in Kulungula Gassiz, Umvelangan, Kanti Sikukang is Katesi wrong. When we're supposed to kneel, here on the Southern Hemisphere, like in UAH, in UAH it's on the 23rd of September. What does it mean um, uh, in terms of science? That is the day of the spring equinox. 
meaning that is when the earth energies reach equilibrium. Yingakugutiwa is the equinox, meaning day and night are equal on that day. So that from that day, Ukala is spring up on the southern hemisphere, so we're getting more light and the less, uh, you know, night. Ogwa manje, good dominator the night. Why? Because the sun is in the northern hemisphere. It will come back on the southern hemisphere. That journey, um, um, uh, if figure on the 21st of September, the sun officially leaves the northern hemisphere, and it takes three days oh. for the sun to transit, you know, through the line of the equator, the imaginary line of the equator. So the 21st, the 22nd, 23rd, it makes one degree southwards, which then signifies a new cycle for the southern hemisphere. So a calendar, that we reintroduce, it is based on Nzalo Elang, because Nzalo Elang marks the solstices and the equinoxes. So then if we had to follow the African calendar, what would that look like? And Ogwamanj, yeah. if we are, you know, following the African calendar, we are in the season of the principle called set. Set is that a principle that that governs um, uh, but, but in a slung entropy. Entropy, it means a contained energy, you know, gets released. Do you understand? If, uh, you know, let's say, you know, and any, as an example, a man that uh, flows uh, from um, a waterfall, right? That is an uh, energy that is uh, not contained. It's free. It's just, uh, you know, evenly distributed. But then when you put a turbine somewhere down there, you know, we are able to enhance that uh, energy to create electricity, yes. you know, from that uh, flowing water. So uh, we are in that uh, season city, Nesizulu is katiskam bilis, you know, usetum uh, bilis, you know, meaning what is the principle of chaos. <clears throat> that is why you witness so much chaos, you know, uh, uh, even, uh, you know, in, in, in our country. Uh, what is so painful? Usete uza, uza, nezifo, July. Usete uza, nezifo. But to Bulavan to lay Eastern Cape, but to Bulavan to lay and the bank and Naguma Tavern, but to Bulavan to lie Orlando. Thirteen people were dead, is all. I believe Nase Catle home. Hey, last year, who said when it was this season, there was this looting that yes. was happening, meaning what it is the release of a contained energy, it then becomes free. But then the next season, Gamma Art. That is when it is contained and enhanced again, because Uma art is is the principle of order, ah. uh, which then says, Guti, you can never have order without disorder." To understand, no it chaos yeah. gives gives birth to order. Yinga koge that is represented the cosin. Um, uh, Epcosin inkosi represents the order. Yinga ko inkosi make Order has been restored. Because without Inkosi, Inkosi is the center that binds everybody in the community together. Mm. So without that head, Inkosi, there's a chaos in the community. Okay, now I'm going to go back to, because there's a jump on the <coughs> jump I, I know. I still oh. have to <laughs> learn yes. those. Like, hey, the basic. calendar. Yes, the basic the calendar, basic. it has uh, 12 seasons. Yeah. And uh, that are linked to the 12 uh, tribes of Israel. Okay. Uh, there's nothing like that, you know. Um, yes. Uh, yes. Okay. And uh, this season, Jehovah Z12, Abantu that are born during September. Yes. They embody the energy ga asa, which is the energy of renewal. Abandu that are born in October, they embody the energy ga hetero city, Why? Because it's so potent, the energy ga October, yeo le yenza guti amasita kume. 
Oh, wow. And it, September is renewal. Mm. Then in October, it's potent energy. Then we come to Ulenduza, Uchehuti, uh, which is, uh, you know, the third month. Uh, which is uh, November, you know, Ngeslung. Yeah. Um, uh, that is uh, the principle of communication. Meaning, now develops ama roots, yeah. so, t- so that uh, it is rooted. Then you come to Ulenduza, Utisemba. Utisemba is the most, uh, one of the most, uh, you know, because it's associated with the summer solstice. What does that mean? It means Uguti, the sun and earth are closer. You know, it's the only time when uh, the sun is closest to earth. And uh, Ilanga pumps enough hydrogen on earth for earth to sustain itself until this period. Yingako, it's associated with the birth, in December. Meaning Uguti, Guzalwa, Lomo, the hydrogen that is being pumped you know, so that we can sustain ourselves. Because on December, Ilanga begins its journey now moving to the Northern Hemisphere. And that period is confirmed on the 21st of March, when now the sun has officially left the Southern Hemisphere, saying Alego yes. on the Northern Hemisphere. Yes. Then uh, we are from uh, December, Siyagu January, that is Heru, um, uh, in Kosana. Yes. Uh, uh, in Kosazana, that is the spirit um, um, uh, uh, Yamakos, meaning Guti, that is the time when Amakosi begins officially um, Zwabo, of serving, uh, you know, the community. Okay. Yes, in January. Then February, um, uh, it, 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 it's associated with gap, um, Shaba, meaning Guti, um, uh, that is when time for a big, uh, big harvest. That's why you know, uh, people are, are taking uh, whatever by vanilla to the royal house oh, yes, 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 in yes, February. Yes. yes, that is the time here, Linduza. Meaning, good, the sun now is is really preparing to depart completely from the mm-hmm. southern hemisphere. Mm-hmm. Then again, no match, undas. Uh, it's it, it's time for yenala, meaning good. There's plenty food mm. because that's the last harvest, and that's when we then start storing some of the seeds for mm. September. Mm. You know, in the new mm. cycle that comes, and uh, also um, um much we will also enter um kosi city um kosi um isli loskanom kubuluan. Remember, go to Unom Kubuluan is a partner Gam Vilingan. Yes. So Unom Kubuluan departs, or Uim Vilingan departs officially on the 21st of March, meaning go to officially Ilang Alia Suga from the Southern Hemisphere, Seli Agupi on the Northern Hemisphere. Tina Sesi Kalanga Basi experience a winter. Jango Basi Ulenduza. Actually, that's autumn. I winter Gashe Kala. Manje ngo June. Yes. You know, ngo June is the official on the 21st of June, officially, ukala i winter until September. And then what does that mean to us as black people? As black people, meaning uh, as a bandabamiyama, we need to connect with that energy. Okay, let me explain. Uguti from the 21st of March, is Kati Somoya, who dominates in Lovgaz, no mkubuluan, because um velengane, you know, so good dominator Unom Kubulan. Unom Kubulan is the master magician. Yinga Kogutiwa is Kati Soguti. See, build You know, what we want to see manifest in September in our sub- subconscious mind, whatever ideas you have, you start building them subconsciously from the 21st. You know, who's pushing Ogamoya until they manifest in September. So he's cut so moya, but manje mogu figure u September. He's cut so so moya se a pen. So gungena is cut is a physicality. Because the sun is back now, we have the energy because the lang a buile on the southern hemisphere. You see they're rubbing the black chat. No, 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 they've messed us up. I'm like, what? Basi <laughs> Basi sonti, like, 
passing something. We are, we are, we are, we are operating, uh, you know, as slaves. Yeah. Because uh, once you confuse the protons and electrons in my system, yes. I will never be able to connect again. And remember, Tina, we are most powerful because of the content melanin yes. in our system. So for 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 umlong to deal with us, kumele ashai la moyen, as tumbe moyen subconsciously, so that we don't know ourselves. In that way, we'll we'll be never again regain our strength. Remember, Eastern said to say, "Tina ma Africa, it's not physical. It's not ibam. It's not in moya." Umoya, that is why we're able to rule the world. You know, Umtomyama ruled the world before. Nalomoya, by understanding, you know, the laws that govern the universe. You know, we are then able, each time in Yako, it's always on point. You know, our Googling is cut is wrong. When there is in the Owaz, okay, fine. Manje is cut is come from this guy. Hey, what must I do? This is the time when now, Umele, Lentole, and Funa, and Sebenza, and I, Uguting, prepare my business planning, prepare a young gay into, so that my figure November and catch a communication. It's because I'm going to go to one, that's March. Yeah, yeah. Then let's continue with that. Because I know we are here with our... Yes, it's cut again couple of new match. Then the Mogufi April is cut is ka anpu um capigas. The guardian of uh, you know um uh Izul. Um uh meaning guti uh uh uma usho nawen. You are welcomed by that principle, spirit is ka anpu. And uh, that spirit assist you to proceed but your heart has got to be weighed first ukuthi njengoba bawuphila la emhlabeni bawuphila uzonda abantu umdlwembe uyo yonke lento negative you know especially emtweni umnyama then your heart becomes heavier than the feather if your heart mo meyiqalwa lapha inhliziyo yakho because remember there is the physical heart, basically and the spiritual heart, which records everything Oyen Zilem Sabin. So, Maushon, Uwewa, Lentlizio, the spiritual heart, against the feather of my heart. Yes. So, your heart has got to be as light as the feather yes. for you to be able to do Lele Nale, Ube Joseliche, Esiti Mesil Pasha, Sibonis in Dozenze. If uh, you have failed uh, to move on, you reincarnate your kala gabusha, ufunde, loko kume lukfunde. So when you say reincarnate, what do you mean? It means, Uguti, uh, uh, when I say reincarnate, uh, Nisho Guti, remember Guti, in the African sense, there's no death, but renewal. Uh, it, that is confirmed by science. The science says you can never destroy energy. Yes. So it means, Uguti, when a mauke took bombs when boosting is because of Sabu Gufa, it means you are ignorant of yourself. Because if you knew good, there's no death, you would you would put your life to save a generations to come. Uguti nono nife, uguze generation, because we have, yes, it must be nice. Do you understand? Yeah. So that's why it is Tola Gule Messe Siguos and Abanda Bamyama because she rule a bantu. Abasaba Ufa. You know, and uh, there's no death. Meaning what? Boom, how humble I'm saying. We are renewing. We are renewing yourself. When Umoyawak has been here for billions of years. Ulokwe has pinda, pinda. Ulokwe has pinda, pinda. You know, in different forms. So there's no death, gosh, gosh. So your reincarnation, here uh, But mind you, let reincarnation that is associated with negativity because of the things that you did before. He lo moya lo ongena ingani. Utolo gutingani manje say tatis pam uyo dula banda batala ingani yenzange izinto ishakisa. He lo moya esinga ufuni gelo. He nga kuma upila la imshabin. Umele upile ngumteto gama art, umteto gas. Uguze, em, mauso ujulile la mshabini. Ujule, ukone, ugyo, ugyo shangana numvili ngang. Ube, ube, hizo zelise. 
Messi Lendoza, sing out the A man, Lenganing, and no more movie. You become low more movie because we are, especially if I went there, I will see go, Gini. No, but Africans believe and know good. Umoya, Uzalwa, Upio. Kepa Lomoya, Woniswa, Ugbona, Ugukuluma, Ugwenza. So, Maso Shonil. After a year, since I'm going to a couple, meaning what is a cleaner lomoya wako oze upio. See how cleaner again so that u harm be u kubeg, u yo sang and a nom veling again so that u be ilozi elise. So Africans had a way. So Bengsala gumkapigazi, umkapigazi that is April. Umkapigazi wuyege, em a scatty footy. Um, uh, so, so go faga matwas. Jenga ti nyang. Oh. Is kati so go faga matwas aleso. Do you understand? Okay. A faga wanga leso is kati because mukapikas uye who assist us, you know, to go through um, uh, Israel amatong. Okay. Do you understand? Yes. Um, uh, because without mukapikas uzo lasega. Without mukapikas na sektwa sein uzo loku titegil. Uguti bak fage mchambe ngo tisemba. Awazu fage tuwaza ngo tisemba. Melo hambe nge kalenda. Melo understand uguti. Gumele ngil fage ninde tuwaza uguze. I program engi pizi ngayo. I hambe lane with the prevailing energy that is prevalent at the particular time. Then from Anpu, em, em, eh, eh, guza, guza usakhmet. Usakhmet umlapigaz. You know, it's that energy that purifies the universe. Mm. You know, yonke indo, because now we are preparing for e-release, the chaos, what I believe call chaos, e-release of the contained energy. Is over released man. You know, what you like, it is a good May, May, June, May, June, Usakhmet, Usakhmet, Uyege, um, uh, umlapigaz, umlapigaz, meaning good, i energy, you know, uh, gasechmet, i alapa, you know, naturally, it purifies. Yi nga koge, iskati so good to wenza ma meditations, to heal, you know, your organs, you to heal everything langa pagati gwen. Then mag figure ge iskati skaset, it's cut is cut here for the even distrib evenly distribution of the energy of the universe. It's no longer contained, you know. Um, uh, now it's being released. Yin ako guti wa chaos, you know. Gwen zagala lez into zendagala yo, you know. Every time during his cut is cut. Then from Muset, guza uma art, uma art manje ungena la ngolenduza. I think uh, you know. Um, 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 August, um, 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 um because that is the season that ends, you know, the African, uh, you know, uh, year. Itrina, um petigaz, which is the August. Tina se tunwa abangisizul. Meaning why? Because the energy that is coming here to renew uh, everything on the southern hemisphere, ya twasa. That's why abesu tu bange no nyageni mo August. Bangena lonya the energy made to us, you know, at its infancy. Mm. But it was in September. Yingako em ngesizulu si to September umanduro because we are going back to the very same point as at Alaguyo last year. And ugundula ugundulela, you know, uvule lunyago mush is in Dresden. So that then becomes then September the first year of the African, uh, you know, month. I know you were trying to do some works with the government to shift South Africa to the African calendar. Are we getting somewhere with that? I will not get, we're not, not getting eh, anywhere. Abeko, Abeko woke. Abeko, no, no, it's not a question of being woke. Abeko interested. 
Why? Because umlungu uthe unyaga ukala mo January. So even in their plans and everything, unyaga ukala mo January. Lendo, you know, ishule umamwini. Umamwini, we mentioned this thing 25 years ago. As I'm conscientize the government, which is stop perpetuating the colonization yeah. of our children. Why Uba Seven Zisa Uba Niggas I calendar really wrong? Because the calendar has no resonance with the energy of the Southern Hemisphere. But I guess they say, you know, as Pelumoy, see a pambili, so local see push a man, strategy, it must be a ground swell. Yes. If it demand yes. come from the, the yes. ground, a lot of us as black yes. people see claim the, our real new year. Because People don't know. Yes. I mean, as we're sitting here listening to you, now we're like, hi, Bob. No, sure. No, sure. Inside the calendar, you know? No, sure. So I think it's a matter of information. And again, I want to go back to information because we don't have much time. Mm. In, I want to go back to ancient Africa, Kemet, mm. the gods and goddesses, yes. how they stole our myths and legends mm. and then flip molded them into the Bible, that whole thing, so that... No, sure, there. sure. Yeah. Hey, remember, Guti, the foundation of the basis of any spirituality and any, you know, religious uh, doctrine, you can learn. Yes. You know, so Abelung, by failing to understand the connection, which is very important. Remember, Guti, Abelung, they operate from what is called a closed system, where they, they everything here yeah, about it's mechanical. Meaning, Gutu Umlungu doesn't believe a moyen. You know, Umlungu believes on everything that has manifested already. So, Mom Jelang causal plane, Uguti, what has created the apple? Ageko interested, Uguti, what principles were involved in creating the physical apple? So, O Kokobet were masters in that. And that is what Abelung called the metaphysical. Abelung are just interested in the physical. We are more interested in the metaphysical. But we are not interested because we can see it. We are interested in what created, what principles were involved in the creation of that, uh, you know, apple. So Abelung misinterpreted young Lendole, meaning this, uh, you know, spiritual canon said, Born, they twisted it for social control so that uh, they are able uguti ba control abantu and replace in nature with a physicality. Example, Luches. You know the concept that Jesus, Jesus never existed. He was created uh, by Constantine, you know, 352, you know, AD, at the Council of Nicaea. It's a context concept that was generated by him to say, I'm going to use this concept to socially control people. So what do you mean? What do you mean? Break it down for us. What do, what do you mean Jesus was made up? No, no, it's a, it's a made up thing. It's not a, there, it's not a real character. You know, um, uh, Umuntu that uh, came up there with the concept to Constantine. Uh, Constantine then uh, commissioned Michelangelo to draw up a figure that it will fit its description there. I show you what you funny figure, so, so, so. So it is an artistic expression. It's not a physical... Where did it come from? From Rome. Who Constantine? Where, where, where did the idea of creating a Jesus come from? From Constantine. Why, why did they need to make a Jesus? So that they need they control the band, social control. They were moving people from nature. Yes. You know, so that uh, Abandu now, they must uh, sit under the physicality. Yes. Remember, because ever since we were colonized, Gungenabelung on the continent, we've been praying, you know, um, uh, to this Jesus. Mm -hmm. And uh, this Jesus, he portrayed a shop. It means, Jesus. So that was the mess up. Ebayenza Laima Kanda eight. Ying Ako O Baba Betu even today are still scared of Abelung. Yeah. Because of this thing, Guti. Mengi Vugelum Lung, ni Vugelum Kulungu. Yeah. Umlung yeah. can never equate, you know, they can never equate themselves. Nelang. The only creator on earth is the sun. Let me tell you, Gwenjan. I said to you, the sun burns, you know, um, uh, carbon. Yes. To create the hydrogen. 
where na DNA yako is bonded by the same hydrogen. So as long as the sun is there, we are pila. Do you understand? So and as long as the sun is there and the moon, there's life on earth. You know, iluane, yonke lendole. You know, um, uh, uh, because of uh, that. So ageko munyo muntu mele mele agumela nga ukolele on anything that is physical. Nisho na myself. I can't come to you tomorrow, Niti, because in Kulmaganje, Mungulungulu, Aung Tandas. That will be very silly because we tumba bandu mkond. A bandu should be connected back to nature. So that, uh, remember, Guti, we are the only species on earth that has uh, moved away from the natural clock. Ilwane, you know, um, um, uh, Ijalo, everything still follows the natural clock. Yitik pele abantu, you know, that have uh, moved away from there. Yinga ako so uvugekseni. That's another topic. Uvugekseni, you've lost the six hours already. But ina alila angalia vela. Time is determined by the rising of the sun. You know, when the sun rises, that becomes the seven, the first hour of the day, not the, the seventh hour, but to seven, nikseni. Yeah. You know, it, can, it cannot be. Why? Because we are no longer using uh, the natural clock. The natural clock is also timed or aligned with that electromagnetic field of Earth, meaning what it is the true meridian, you know, the center of Earth. Oh, Coco calculated it in the Great Pyramid of Giza. That Pyramid of Giza, it's at the center of Earth. So, oh, Coco Bejo, that's when they started a calculation of time. We figure the colonizer. The queen was moved from the true meridian, was begagu greenish meridian. We are so messed up because uh, as a circle on the natural clock, says Hamba, Niskatiska queen, and that is a social control. Wow. Yes. Exactly. What are you na youth. You need to study. You need to know yourself. You need to study this history. You need to study this science so that you need to because you know, um, uh, as an example, in the Republic of South Africa, it's crime against humanity. It was not supposed to be allowed to, 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 to even exist. Oh, Kokobe, to actually Africa young, is ruled by these republics. Who owns these rep republics? It's the queen. Is South Africa is owned by the queen even today. So, Indo is on the continent. Ilama republics. Because Lama republics are chonje umshaba way. Black people are too scared to let go. Oh, no, no, no. They're too scared to let go. Uh, I know, but a natural process uh, is happening. The Republic of South Africa is going to fall and uh, all other republics on the continent are going to fall. Because the day Abanduba realized that the enemy of Mundu is the Republic of South Africa. What, what, what were our leadership structures get? Because I think that's where we're getting a bit lost mm. with the one president and the centralized government. I don't think that's an African way that we used to do it. No. So that's what I'm saying. Guti, people are scared of letting this go. What's our alternative? Of course. Remember, Guti, the land was taken from kings and queens. There were no politicians when the land was taken. My boy, why are you know, back to kings and queens? But Namakos now have also... And if they've messed up, yes, it doesn't matter. Yes, no, that's another thing. <laughs> no, they're the same thing. Same WhatsApp group now. Same WhatsApp group. I need to manage, but Namakos, as betrayer, Moguti Bavumele, you know, the Republic of South Africa exactly. to continue. They didn't have the guts to challenge about yes, that. When out. they were coming with the concept, Guti, hey, it's a new government. Bogmele by me, it's a little process. And that chance is still there even today. Remember, Guti Makosi were not invited La Pecotes. So it means they are not bound mm. to all the agreements that were made by politicians. Also, why are they bound? Because they didn't speak for us. No. They spoke for themselves. But they would say you voted. That's what they would say. 
And I didn't vote. No, no, I'm saying it's your immature. I was like, guys, I'm voting. Please I know. don't involve me only what your COVID rules and what, what I'm not involved. No, no, sure. They will say what you uh, you voted, but you see, the unfairness here in the process. Yeah, they didn't happen? give us the yeah. option because they should have come to the people and say, here's a Western construct, the yeah. structure Sabelung. Here's a tried and tested governing system of the continent. Chuzani yewutin funai. Right. Safu unzwanje lendo ngoba bona bese befumba tisiwe. You know, eh, ila belung. Uguti perpetuate the structure. Umundo watala le nonsense unkwame nkrum by accepting the Republic of Ghana. Because it then followed every president, you know, when they came. There's no shining example on the continent. It means all our leaders have been colonized and all our leaders have been selling us right from Nkwame Nkrum. They agreed to Nkwame Nkrum to sign a paper to say the Queen of England is the owner of Ghana. So all of them, they signed that paper. But now do you see then why, why, why black people are just despondent? Because it, there's no point. No, no, no. Agmela like, ask a lose. I ask a lose. Remember, go to Mlung, as long as the lad to a Exactly. Tina, young coach, he great empire of commit. He sevens it towards uniting black people. Because once black people are united, see, Kuluman Jagane, Uguti from next month, I let it. Umshaba we tu yabuya, abelungu baham benda wenye. That will be the call. No, ka ngane ka ngane mobilization. Remember, Guti. Basa ba belungu. And the section at the airport. Yeah. We have we've left them. No, no. Uru pet out everything. Sibayegi. Eh, ani timanje. Sibayegi le because remember, Guti. Even colonization wouldn't. Can I introduce another thing just to expand on that? Sure. Jong kulo ngama upenaim. Um, cool, look, credo motor built the villages as he saw it. But we know when he built that was to counter the tower, El Apaya, you know, uh, that Oppenheimer tower. Yes. So, I mean, I know there's myth, there's legend, I don't know what is true. And yeah. maybe you can enlighten us, Joe, says, touch on the subject of the Rupert School. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, when you touch on credo uh, motor village, yes, it was donated that site by O. Oppenheim, mm. a donator to the Soweto community. Imagine donating something stolen. Kabang. <laughs> stolen. A stolen property. <laughs> we had a celebration or a memorial Gabab credo, I think, uh, you know, a month ago, oh. Lape the Credo Mutua Village. Okay. I then requested the Department of Arts and Culture, which is responsible, no, is it arts and culture or um, um, uh, department Yama Parks? Mm. I said to them, that name of Eppenheimer brings so much pain in us. When we come to that sacred space and uh, we always see Oppenheimer, you know, Credo Mutua Village, we don't want that name to be there. So that it then Ibizwa, Credo Mutua Village, finish. You can't the don't. Thug. The biggest thug. The biggest thug. So, he learned to learn. It's different from politicians. Politicians, even today, remember, even colonization of African people wouldn't have happened if we didn't have Mijwembe that were in Kahoots, Nabelung. You, Do you know, understand? When you look at the situation this now. You realize how black people lost their land. Oh no, sure. You're like, oh, okay, there were people like yes, people like yes, people like you know. No, they're in <laughs> power. Hey, but in power, yeah, go. Hey, boy, it's short lived because he appeal. Don't pet up. We appeal. He lives with his obuele makosin very soon. They go gumele sis lungi said, but any in dog gumele sis gumele sis is clean up la pe makosin. Yeah. Because the reason why we find a Makosi so easy for them to sell us for 15,000 rent, uh, you know, a month is because a Makosi and Mpela were removed by the apartheid government. Wafaga ama puppet who were yeah. then opposing the real yeah. people. You know, Amapuno would never yeah. allow you 
to rule when you were opposing them. So it means the majority of them are I'm a fake image when I'm myself. Kumele sends the clean up lapo. So that you miss it is a vusub course again. Sibu vusang abandaba right, not lend the sea bona in the land. So in Kosian and Bella, there isn't going to be so much conflict around their throne. And oh, no, sure. In Kosian and Bella, people, it's a. Yes. It's a, Energy. Yes. You no, know, we all bow down to that. Yes. Energy. So we can feel good to, hey, we're not bowing down to any, any, no, 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 any sure. of the provinces. <laughs> no, remember, Guti, Ubkos, Ubukosi Bakala, Inkosi, Nenkosigas. These are the two representative Gamvelingang no nom Kubulu and Eskosri. Yes. Inkosi, Umele, Ikombi, Senezenzo Zayo, Uguti, Iketiwe, Umtojwa. Even in Western philosophy. And then I was not at his, his That's the thing. You know, another thing. Another thing that is embarrassing and of guys. Most of uh, Lama Kosi Lang. 90% of them are Christians. That's the thing. I'm like, there's Hey, 90% of them are Christians. And it's an insult to I black can. people because you are insulting our ancestors. Yes. You are saying our ancestors are powerless because we are now importing a foreign God that not never even lived. Uzomfaga lies Godwin when. Tina si kotamela when. When are your kotameli fake? That didn't even live. So I go on in course, Leo. In course, we born as a Zosai. No, to go in course, we want to privilege. In course, remember the real king. Ushala M. Kukwini until Abantu assorted. Then Abantu build a mansion for the king because La Eselicon, everybody is progressing. So see, I'm born. Mogumakela imenshin. Inkosi doesn't go and they look for imenshin, beseki surround wa imikuku. That's unheard of, uh, uh, that's unheard of uh, you know, in the African context. So young Gelendole has been manipulated. Young Gelendo has been turned around because now Ubu Kosi is no longer about Moya. It's about physicality. Mm, material. Materialism. And then you don't know politics. Yes, yes, yes. Kujwin. In course, he shot a ma a ma koska za matad. Kuzole inga ne zitri. Kuna njungul. Lagume le kona. Gupu me kona in kosan. O in kosazan. Keba si abona tina in the community. Guti gule inga ne zitri. Umtu ana la umoyusheli kona ile. Yes, tad. Yeah. In Vengan. Yeah. Umo yumusheli la pogliongan. But Neke is a inulwe. Why? Because the bureaucracy says in Kosana Melipumegulumus. It's no longer about more. Yeah. Yes. Moba Upa, we are born um um to an ogmela bengos. Who come be some signs? I say, Man, who would you inang nang lomundulo? Who cool an eye or lendole? I would you mind your wena? Let's go fetch him. <laughs> I don't want to get us into trouble, Mkulu. Ah, no, no. Thank you for coming. Ah, <laughs> Before, <laughs> because you have one of these you're about to take a sponsor. You gave us so much information. I've got no doubt. I want to have a man about it. No, sure, sure. With the pen and paper. Ah, Teraz, Teraz, Teraz. Keep up the work, please. No, no, no sure. Make sure the information is out there. Yes. Now, when the Bakwala, which they must Google you, we're going to come on Sundays in Orlando, yes. so pass that. Oh, no. And find our way. Any into um, Angel Vugas, song, we need to mobilize black people. Uguti song is celebrating in New Year yet on the 23rd yes. of September. I learned we have a that has no correlation with nature. Togos and Jeff. Oh, no, then that's, that, I'm busy thinking, okay, fine, that's our deal then. No, sure. Moving from here onwards. Same Valo in September. Thank me, Vile, guys. Uh, 23 September, that's our new year. Yes. Outstanding citizens, the Antanda, it was nice to be with you. Remember the hashtag up? 
This is Unpopular Opinion. We're going to see you again next week. Thank you for myself <laughs> and the crew. Love you. Take us in. Take us in. I want to have uncomfortable conversations. I want the room to be divided. I want people to be screaming and mad at each other. Then I want them to understand each other. I want to see things from a different point of view. This is Unpopular Opinion.